Well, from Leeds, we're joined by Tracy Brabin, the mayor of West Yorkshire. Uh, good afternoon to you. Thanks very much indeed for joining us in what is an incredibly busy day for everyone up and down the country. Can you tell us the picture there and, and how are people responding to it in West Yorkshire? Well, hello, Simon. And uh, it is disruptive. We have seen that Leeds Station is uh, relatively empty, um, but people are still moving about our region. Our park and rides are busier than they have been and the bus network, of course. But it's obviously a difficult time for young people doing their exams and also for workers to, to get to their uh, place of work. We're a region where we don't have as many uh, white collar workers who can potentially work from home as other regions so it's really important that we try and mitigate as much as we can and make sure people can still move around. And you're actually in the third week of a, a um, bus service disruption as well aren't you and I, I know that you were saying that you've spoken to both sides trying to get to a positive conclusion for the people of West Yorkshire. What do you make of this rail strike? Uh, do you believe the RMT should have gone ahead with this strike or, or should they have struck a deal? They have been offered, uh, depends on which side you speak to, a two or three percent uh, pay increase. Well, we are in a cost of living crisis and let's not forget the people who work on the railways, they, they got us through the pandemic, making sure that our emergency workers, our key workers could get around. Now, I'm not going to comment on the, on the veracity of their claims because I'm not in the room, but my understanding is they have been in discussions for uh, almost a year and nobody wants to go on strike lightly because let's not forget there's also a reduction in your money that's coming into your pocket and when we talk about people being affected obviously the the people who work for the railways are those people who are going to be affected their families are going to be affected as well nobody goes on strike lightly but as you say in West Yorkshire we have um, a dispute with Arriva and Unite and I am hoping that over the next day or so we could get, get to some resolution to make sure we can see the end of this it's really important that working people can say to government that um, we are seeing a real uh, cut in our wages due to inflation and uh, my understanding is that railway workers haven't had a pay rise in over two to three years and it is fair and just that they can Brabin. make that case. Uh, Mayor Braben, it sounds to me like you support these strikes. Well, I support passengers. I am, a, I am the voice of the passenger. I am a, a bus and train passenger myself. What I, what I support is the right to um, strike. That is the last resort for people who want to see better paying conditions. But of course, the disruption is great. Uh, as we've seen in Wakefield, it's been really hard for that community because we don't have a, a fantastic rail network in Wakefield and, and the five towns. The community really rely on the buses. There are people paying £20 a day in taxes to get to work, £100 a week, and it's been going on now into the third week. This cannot continue, and we have to come so to some sort of resolution. what's the solution, then? If, if you support the right to strike, the strikes are causing disruption for the people you represent in West Yorkshire uh, and, of course, people right across the country. What is the solution, if not a pay rise and, and better working conditions? Well, that's absolute, absolutely the solution, is coming to a compromise where people are paid properly for a day's work and also that um, we don't see those cuts to numbers in, in so-called efficiencies and protecting people's right to have a, a, a safe and decent environment to work in. It is down to those companies like Arriva and also I would suggest the government to, to get involved in, in, in finding a solution 